The miniature Hwanka culture's popular slogan is, let's get growing. And here in San Carlos, farmers have been taking that to heart. They have been producing the most onions, potatoes, corn, rice, beans, and other foods that help grow the population of Belize. However, they have themselves been starving for attention from the same agriculture officials. It is two weeks to harvest season for red potatoes and about a month for yellow and white onions. Maximiliano Hernandez, who has been farming in this community since his establishment 20 years ago, is out in the field tending the crops he wants to sell in Orange Walk Town and Belize City. But he's wary of a repeat of previous years when a glut of import permits issued by the ministry prevented him from getting his bounty to market. The practice is to prepare the land, plant, plant, the idea is plant, plant to plant, no? Prepare the land, put fertilizers, set the, the trip lines, anything. Until right now, we have, you, 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 you have a stand in big back of us. Uh, potato looks pretty. Uh, that's, why, that's why we, we invest money. For one acre, it's almost six, uh, five thousand dollars for one acre. In total, in, t in between the onion and, and potatoes, it's uh, almost 60 acres of, of total. Almost is a three hundred thousand dollars for investment. Last year we have, we have a, lot, a big problem for the for sell the products. Right now, I don't know what happened in the, in the two weeks more. I don't know what happened. Is uh, have a the same problem or we need less problem for sell our products? But last year we have a lot problem for sell. The price go down. I don't know what happened. The government put, or the ministers, or I don't know who, who put the, the, the 75 cents a pound for potatoes, man. It says, uh, it says no, we, we don't make profit for that. Right now, we have in front of the, put, the potatoes field. Two weeks more, we will begin the harvest. That encourages the government, help us to sell our product, fresh products, healthy products, a uh, price that they, we make profit. Originally from Blue Creek, John Dick is farming corn and red kidney beans in this 200-acre plot using a $200,000 irrigation pivot system imported from the U.S. But he says it could all go for naught in current conditions. The road is pretty bad to come here. It takes two hours to, for a truck to come here from Blue Creek. It's only 25 miles. But it makes it very hard. And now with the fuel prices and every, the butane price has gone up, we used to use uh, 2016, we used uh, about a dollar a bag to dry the corn. Right now with the few, uh, butane prices, it's, it comes up to one, about 170 a bag to just to dry the butane, just to dry the corn. And we have our vehicles that we put on butane so that we can drive a little bit cheaper back and forth. So, but with the fuel prices with, uh, we use for the pivot and we use for the tractors and everything, it's, and the price of the corn that went down so bad this year to 20 cents a pound, where it was two years ago, it was 29 cents a pound. It, it's just not feasible to do that anymore. Hernandez warns that in as early as 10 years, the younger generation may abandon farming for richer pursuits. Every farmer right now is 50 years old. The young farmers is less. Why? Because the young farmers see the farming no, no, no business because no make money. What happened in maybe ten years? The farmer disappear because no make mo no make money. The thing is, if you work hard, it's for for, for, for make money, for 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 a good, for to make a, a good you life. No, you, you make a profit. And Orange Walk South a representative and the fellow farmer Jose May says it's time for the government to listen. And that. We decided now to bring the media out here to look before we have a crisis so that the government cannot, come, cannot say that they did not know that there was 30 acres of potatoes, 30 acres of onions under production and therefore they imported not doing so and then the farmers are losing their shirt. So uh, I wanted to make it very, very clear that the media is here today so that they can advance the idea or the information, what is out here. What you saw today is as a result of hard work and investment on behalf of the farmers of this constituency. From the fertile fields of San Carlos in the Orange Walk District, Aaron Humes reporting for News 5.